Today is April the 27th and Diego Lopez, Armin Sarukin still have not been fucking paid because the NSAC and the fucking dweebs at the NSAC are withholding the pay. So you won't fucking believe this, but the reason, believe it or not, why they withholding Diego Lopez's money after his win against Sadiq Yusuf at UFC 300 is because he jumped the fucking cage. Which many fighters do, and I'm guessing they try and make a statement and stop fighters from doing it. Uh, but they're withholding his money due to this. So let's take a, a quick look at it. That was it. That, that is the reason why they are withholding his money. Because he, he jumped a fucking cage. Now, it's absolutely fucking ridiculous. Just give the man his money. And now we're going to have a look at why the gangster Armin Sarukian is having his money withheld by the NSAC. He showed me fuck you and wanted to punch, punch me and I wanted to punch him back. That's it. He won't show me fuck you. It doesn't matter who you are, I'm going to punch you <laughs> on the face. 100 meters, I'm, I'm not going to like punch you. But when you're close to me, it's like automatically, you know. I'm like from Russia, like don't do that, please. I'm going to go to the prison. In US. <laughs> he showed me fuck you and So there we have it. That's why Armin Sarukian's in trouble with the NSAC. And I kind of get this one. They've, they've kind of got set of precedents. Fighters can't be hitting the fans. Although the fan fucking deserved it. He was giving Armin Sarukian shit. And he's a gangster. He doesn't take shit from anyone. If you go and chat shit, you're going to get banged. So I kind of get it from Armin Sarukian's point of view. However, he, they, they, they've got set of presidents and they, he's going to be fined. He's going to be sanctioned. However, regardless of the crimes committed, whether it's jumping a cage, which is absolutely fucking ridiculous, whether it's biting another man, absolutely fucking terrible, or punching a fan in the face for chatting shit. The fact is that the, the NSAC shouldn't be withholding the money. They should have a system in place where incident happens the week of the incident, they get the evidence together, they review the evidence. At the end of the said week, they then put an earring together, a meeting with the fighters, whether it's video call or in person, and they give the sanctions or fines that week. And that's how it should be done. I don't get why the process isn't there, why it's taking so long. What, what are they doing? Like The footage is there. We've all seen it a thousand times. They have a meeting, they discuss what the what the problem was and how they're going to uh, impose a sanction on the fighter for for the I issues that they've caused it's that simple it doesn't take any kind of brain power to do that it doesn't take any kind of brain power i don't get why they're not doing it anyway we're going to have a look at what the NSAC have said and diego lopez on the diego lopez situation and more about when the hearing's going to take place and what's going to happen in the meeting so in this article on MMA Mania, it says that he didn't jump into the crowd. He didn't pull a Khabib and attack anyone. Climbing out of the cage is still illegal according to NSAT rules, though, and the commission may be looking to send a message that anyone doing it in Sin City will get dinged financially. He is the relevant portions of the NSAT schedule for its upcoming meeting. So the meeting scheduled for April 30th, uh, even on extension of temporary suspension or in... Or, the alternative, hearing on proposed adju adjudication agreement and hearing on withholding of peers for mixed martial artist Igor Severino for possible action. Uh, so that's uh, the biting incident where Igor uh, bit his opponent. Uh, hearing on withholding of peers for mixed martial, martial artist Armin Sarukian for possible action. That's when he, he hit a, a crowd member. Hearing on withholding of peers for mixed martial artist Diego Lopez. De Silva for possible action. Uh, the earring was news to Lopez, who admitted via social media, I've just been seeing that with a laughing sweat emoji. Uh, a later update from Nolan King said Lopez management and the UFC were in touch with the NSAC trying to work things out. So the UFC are trying to get Lopez paid. However, it does look like it's going to have to wait until April 30th when the NSAC have had the meeting to discuss uh, potential fines and sanctions uh, for the fighters. Pay the fucking fighters. If you go and sanction them, it should have been done the week after the fight. They should have reviewed all the footage, 
on that Friday after the fight, they should have put the sanctions in place. Any fines that were that they were going to take from the pay should have been taken from that point. Two weeks later, we are, it was April 13th, UFC 300. Over two weeks later, we're still awaiting a decision on what they're going to do. Why does it take so long? Why haven't they got anything in place for these kinds of incidents? It's absolute bullshit. Drop a comment with your thoughts on the NSAC. Like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.